access granted. CRT, the catheter rinse trickler. CRT, the cathode ray tube. A vacuum tube technology used to manipulate electron beams to display images on a screen. Still confused? Well, most of you watching this video probably grew up with a CRT, whether it was watching a Disney movie on VHS or playing one of your favorite games. You either had or still have a CRT today. The more basic definition of a CRT are these old boxy, sometimes bulky TVs. They come in many shapes and sizes, and the most common ones you've seen were probably from the 80s through the 2000s. I want to take everyone back to simpler times as I feel this is the only way for my viewers to truly understand the aesthetic of playing video games on older displays. Now why in the hell would this matter? Well, what if I were to tell you these TVs were the standard for decades? There was a point in time from the 70s until the late 2000s where video games were intended to be played on such monitors. The cathode ray tube or CRT technology would be conceived in 1897, with the advent of television coming to fruition in the late 1920s. By 1934, CRTs would begin to see the light of day commercially, countless memories of watching TV shows, movies, sports games, and wrestling. Then, there were video games. This was gaming on a CRT. The footage you'll see here is all PS1 and PS2 related, as that's all I can primarily use on this TV at the moment. My goal is to send those nostalgic goosebumps surging through your skin, really taking you back to when a shitbox TV was all you needed in life. I mentioned before that starting in the 1970s, video games were once designed to be played on CRTs. The reason for this was because these were the main type of TV that just about everybody had. Your typical CRT would either come with a 4x3 or 16x3 by 9 screen, meaning you could either play your games in a small or bigger size. 16x9 would work only if your game supported it. Since older games were made to be seen on these screens, you may notice that the colors and graphics pop out very well. A CRT is the most authentic monitor, in my opinion, to get the full experience for this kind of stuff. I honestly forgot how good games used to look on these things. If you had a CRT that supported component cables, your game would look even better. Unfortunately, the TV I have only supports AV, but it gets the job done. But if you think that's cool, there was a point in history where CRTs had an HDMI input. There were Sony televisions from as early as 2004 that supported HDMI, which could go up to 1080i resolution, meaning you could play something as recent as a PS5 should you be lucky enough to have a TV like that. Of course, it won't look nearly as good as an actual HD television with 4K, but the color will still surprisingly look beautiful. Remember when I mentioned putting your camera in front of a TV to capture footage? Reminds you of the golden age of YouTube, doesn't it? This is how we all used to watch a lot of early game reviewers and Let's Players. How about the games themselves you would see being played? Sly Cooper, Jack, Ratchet, Spyro, Sonic, you get the idea. All those examples are games that look ever so vibrant on a CRT. CRTs allowed you to be immersed into the experience. They are a bit pricey to obtain, but I'll die on the hill of saying these things are absolutely worth it in the end to experience or re-experience some of the most fun and ambitious games from previous generations. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in hell, CRT Slayers! <laughs>